Good day, Grade 10. In this lesson, we're learning about acceleration. Average acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. The rate of change of velocity, which means basically the change in velocity divided by the time taken. So consider a motorcyclist accelerating from race. Yeah, we've got this motorcyclist. If we look at it, do you see we've made these equal time intervals. So this is after two seconds, this is after another two seconds, and this is after another two seconds. The velocity is increasing because the velocity is going from 0 to 4 to 8 to 12. And if you look carefully, do you see that the displacement is increasing considerably every two seconds? The displacement here in meters is 4, then it's 16, and then it's 36. So we can see that as the time intervals remain the same, because we're accelerating, our velocity is increasing, and our displacement is also increasing. We can see that the velocity of the bike here is increasing by 4 meters every 2 seconds because that 8 minus 4 is 4 and 12 minus 8 is 4. So if we had to put that in a calculation, as we said, acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. But we know, we can write that out as a is delta v over delta t, which is 4 divided by 2, therefore its acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. So we can say this bike is motorbiker is accelerating with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. Now you need to understand that acceleration is a vector and therefore we get positive and negative acceleration. But it indicates change in direction. So for example, an acceleration of 6 meters per second which is positive means that the velocity is increasing in the positive direction. Right? So if we decided that right was positive, then this means that the guy is accelerating at 6 meters per second squared in the right direction, towards the right. An acceleration of minus 4 means it's increasing in the opposite direction. Okay, an acceleration of minus 4 means that it's increasing in the opposite direction. But you need to understand the difference between acceleration and deceleration. Deceleration is slowing down. So the velocity of the object is decreasing as the object moves forward. Okay, so let's just go through that again. If you have an acceleration of minus 4, you're increasing, but it's in the opposite direction. Whereas deceleration, what we're doing is we're still traveling in the same direction, but now we are slowing down. So for example, cyclist brakes and decelerates at minus 3 meters per second means the cyclist is still traveling in the same direction. He is just slowing down at minus 3 meters per second squared. Okay, so acceleration does not give any information regarding the direction, just how the velocity is changing because either he could be increasing his speed in the opposite direction or he could be slowing down in the same direction. Right, grade 10s, we will learn more about how to calculate acceleration um, when we do the next section where we use equations of motion. But I hope you've understood the concept of acceleration being defined as the rate of change of velocity. In other words, how the velocity changes per unit time. Please make sure you understand this and then go through the questions at the end of the assessment, assessment at the end of the section. Um, have a great day. Bye.